Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 24, 2021, and I really need to catch up on my project life, so I've been working really hard on this. But anyways, I am using the Studio Calico Adventure Time Kit. I believe this kit uh, released in July, and it's beautiful, and I love all the colors, all the cards, so I'm going to struggle with choosing what cards to use. I am documenting Leith for week 24. He got to go on a like retreat with friends and he was sending me loads of photos. Of course I can't use all of them but these are my favorites so I'm going with these. I'm going to start with this 4x6 photo and I'm using the alpha stickers that came in the kit. They are beautiful and the background is like mountains and sky and all that good stuff. So I'm going to use it to spell out wild. Now you're probably thinking, why didn't I start with my title card like usual, but I still don't know what I'm going to do with my title card. So I decided to leave it for later until I figure it out, but I'm just going to go ahead and start working on my photos and cards before I work on my title card. I'm really loving the orange cards and embellishments in this kit. They match really well with my photos, especially with Leith's duffel bag. So what I decided to do was bring in more of that orange by backing up this 3x4 black and white photo of Leith and his friend. And that way it just gives another pop of orange on the opposite side of my spread. And I will use the stamp set that came in the kit to stamp the great outdoors. I am going to stamp it on some white paper, trim it out, and add it as an embellishment right above the photo just to break down the black and white and the orange. My brain works that way. I feel like if you add just white, it really helps, you know, bring down the colors and just break it up a little bit. But anyways, once I add that, I will grab my stapler and staple my photo down. So this kit also came with tickets and tags. So I thought I would go through them and see what I can add right above my journaling on this four by six photo. And I found a little uh, tag that said explore in orange. It matched really well, so I'm going with it. I'm just gonna end up grabbing my stapler again, my tiny attacher and stapling it down. Love the oranges, the pops of orange, but because I used a lot of orange at this point, I'm going to start muting everything down now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do for this 4x6 photo of Leith and his friends, the top of the mountain, they went hiking and they played music and all that good stuff. I'm just going to use one of the chipboards in white and it said having such a wonderful time. It helps mute things down. I'm also going to add a circle uh, chipboard that says you are here. I always take screenshots of where my kid is at when they're traveling. We share our location all the time. So these are like nice little tidbits to add when they are traveling. I also grabbed a orange little chipboard to add under you are here on that three by four card just to bring in some of the orange to that card as well. So at this point, I think I know what I want to do with my title card. I saw that the kit had numbers and they were in different colors. I looked through it and I found that the two and the four match my layout really, really well. So I'm going to go for it. I will add them to the corner of my title card. It adds a pop of color and they're bold. I just love them. I still want to make this title card my own. So I'm going to grab the stamp set that came in the kit and just stamp little things around my map, just like wild and the little sun and some trees, just making it my own. And I think out of the whole spread, that was my favorite. The title card turned out so cool. And I love that the numbers matched my spread really, really well. So I'm almost done with my spread. I just felt like that photo of Leith with the wild on top needed a little bit of something. So what I'm going to end up doing is grabbing the chipboard sheet and adding a gray chipboard right underneath wild. I'll also be stamping totally exhilarated, I think, 
uh, right above wild. I just felt like it needed something and the wild wasn't centered and I didn't center on purpose because of the trees, but just adding the stamping and the chipboard worked out really, really well. I will end up journaling on that three by four card that says born. And I think you will see that in the photos at the end of this video, but that's about it, you guys. I love how the spread turned out, easy peasy. Don't forget, I will be adding all the links down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.